Napoleon's addresses, the Italian campaigns, letter to the directory, headquarters Lodi, May 11, 1796. Citizen Directors I thought that the passage of the Po would be the most audacious performance of the campaign, the Battle of Milesimo, the liveliest encounter, but I have yet to give you an account of the Battle of Lodi. At three o'clock on the morning of the 21st, we pitched our headquarters at Cassel. At nine o'clock, our vanguard encountered the enemy defending the approaches to Lodi. I immediately ordered all the cavalry to mount with four pieces of light artillery, which had just arrived drawn by the carriage horses of the Lords of Plaisance. The division of General Orgerot, which had camped overnight at Borghetto, and that of General Massner, which slept at Cassel, were put in motion. Meantime, our vanguard had overturned all the posts of the enemy and seized one of their cannon. We pursued the enemy into Lodi, they already having crossed the Adder by the bridge. Beaulieu, with all his army, was drawn up in battle array. Thirty set cannon defended the passage of the bridge. I formed all my artillery into a battery, and the cannonading was very lively for several hours. As soon as the army arrived, it formed into a close column with the second battalion of rifles at its head, followed by the battalions of grenadiers. On the run, with cries of Vive la République, they appeared on the bridge, which is over 600 feet long. The enemy kept up a terrible fire. The head of the column almost seemed to waver. A moment's hesitation and all would have been lost. The generals Bethier, Massner, Servoni, Darmont, the brigadier general Lance, the battalion commander Dupin felt this and rushing to the front decided the fate of the day. This Redoubtable column overrode all opposition, breaking Beaulieu's orders of battle, capturing all his artillery, and sowing on all sides seeds of terror, flight, and death. In the twinkling of an eye, the enemy's army was dispersed. The generals Rasca, Augereau, and Berrand crossed as soon as their divisions arrived and completed the victory. The cavalry crossed the Adder at the ford but the ford proving extremely bad, there was much delay which prevented an engagement. The enemy's cavalry tried charging our troops in order to protect the retreat of their infantry, but our men were hard to frighten. Nightfall and extreme fatigue of the troops, many of whom had made more than 10 leagues during the day, forced us to forego the pleasure of pursuit. The enemy lost 20 pieces of cannon and from two to three thousand killed, wounded or prisoners, we lost but a hundred and fifty men dead and wounded. Citizen Latour, General Massner's captain aide de camp, received several sabre cuts. I want the place of battalion commander for his brave officer. Citizen Marmont, my aide de camp brigadier general, had a horse shot under him. Citizen Le Marois, my aide-de-camp, had his clothes riddled by bulls. The courage of this young officer is equal to his activity. If called upon to name all the soldiers who distinguished themselves on that extraordinary day, I should be obliged to name all the riflemen and grenadiers of the vanguard, and nearly all the officers of the staff. But I must not forget the intrepid Bethier who was, in one day, gunner, cavalier, and grenadier. Brigadier General Sugni, commanding the artillery, conducted himself creditably. Beaulieu fled with the remains of his army. Already Normandy may be considered as belonging to the Republic. At this moment, Beaulieu is passing through the Venetian states many of whose cities have closed their doors upon him. I hope soon to send you the keys of Milan and Pavia. 
Although since the beginning of the campaign we've had some pretty hot encounters which the army of the French Republic have met with audacity, not one of them has approached the terrible passage of the bridge at Lodi. We have lost but few good men. It is due to their promptness of execution and to the sudden effect produced upon the opposing army by the size and formidable fire of our intrepid column.